Welcome to this tutorial on best practices in the observation and documentation of infants and toddlers learning and development. This presentation will move from slide to slide, stopping now and then to give you time to review information or download resources. To pause the presentation at any time, use the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. You can also use the navigation menu on the left to review specific topics or to see the speaker notes. Use the Attachments button at the top of the screen to access handouts and web links to additional resources. The DRDP 2015 is an observation-based assessment instrument. In order to rate infants and toddlers on the DRDP 2015, teachers observe infants and toddlers and collect documentation of growth and development over time during the course of the daily routine. Periodically, teachers reflect on what the collected evidence tells about each child and then determine a child's level of mastery on the DRDP 2015 measures. Your knowledge of the DRDP 2015 instrument, what is included, and how the sequences of development are described should guide your observations. Read and become familiar with all the domains and measures in the DRDP 2015 instrument. Think of brainstorming strategies for using the DRDP 2015 instrument with the other teachers and early care providers at your school. For infants and toddlers whose home language is other than the language you speak, plan for who will contribute information and how the responses will be documented and or translated. At the heart of the DRDP 2015 assessment is the collection of evidence to document infants and toddlers' knowledge and development. The most common forms of evidence you will be collecting are descriptive observation notes, photo, video, and audio documentation, work samples for older toddlers. Keep the DRDP 2015 domains and measures in mind when collecting evidence. Your goal is to have enough evidence collected when it is time to make ratings that you have a solid picture of each child's development across the domains and measures of the DRDP 2015. Observe infants and toddlers in natural, routine daily activities. Record observations with enough details to reconstruct the child or children's behavior, skills, and knowledge. Note the date, child or children's names, time, and context on observation notes. Observation 1 was notes should serve as a snapshot for anyone who will be reading them. It may be helpful to take photos or videos to provide evidence of the child's skills, knowledge, and behaviors. Audio tapes or digital recorders can capture language and conversation samples quickly and efficiently. Most cell phones have a camera and voice recorder, and both audio and photos can be sent through email or downloaded to your computer to make a CD. Whatever your evidence, make sure to include a descriptive anecdotal note that supplements and clarifies the evidence. Include the name of the child, the date and time of the evidence, the setting in which the evidence occurred, and other important details. Your photo, video, or audio, and the anecdotal note should reflect the measures for which it may be evidence. With a detailed anecdotal note, there are items and activities already being done or used in the classroom that could become a piece of evidence for completing the DRDP 2015. Original work samples can be copied and added to your collection of evidence of a child's knowledge and skills. Make sure to include a date of each work sample, since you will be looking at growth over time when reviewing documentation at rating time. For some measures, a group documentation sheet or checklist may be a helpful tool for recording the observed behaviors, knowledge, or skills of multiple infants and toddlers. When using group documentation sheets and checklists, be sure to include the date, the observer's initials, and a short anecdotal note when applicable. To access a series of group documentation sheets for the DRDP 2015 infant slash toddler view, use the Attachments tab at the top of this presentation. Regardless of the observation method chosen, various tools must be readily available to record your observations. Before you move on to the next section, it may be helpful to download the four-page toolkit handout using the Attachments button at the top of this presentation. 
All of the infants and toddlers' indoor and outdoor activities should provide observations useful for completing the DRDP 2015 instrument. Collect documentation while infants and toddlers are playing, interacting with others, and during small group activities. Observe infants and toddlers over time and in as many different settings as possible – in the classroom, outside, during play, during group time, and with families at drop-off and pick-up time. Keep the DRDP 2015 domains and measures in mind when observing and recording observations. You may gather information on more than one child in the same observation. For example, in this scene at least three infants and toddlers are interacting and sharing space. An observation can provide evidence for several measures when you include relevant details and keep your notes objective. Focus on observing and recording what the child does, not what you think the child is doing or what you think the child can do. One hint is to only record what you see or hear. Avoid using labels or qualitative descriptors such as shy or scared. Be ready for unexpected observations and photo opportunities. Brief, unplanned moments can be important. Be mindful when actively engaging in small groups, attentively watching while infants and toddlers play, when others can meet infant and toddlers' immediate needs. Plan to focus on specific aspects of development. In addition to documenting observations of the child's development, plan to seek input from others who have ongoing contact with and know the child well, such as teaching assistants, family members, and special education providers. Their observations and insights are important sources of information about the child's typical day-to-day -day behaviors. What then to do with all the valuable documentation you have created? Many teachers choose to set up a portfolio storage system of some sort. Portfolio is a generic phrase for any work samples, assessments, and so on that refer to evaluating infant-slash-toddler learning. If you are already using a documentation system in the classroom now, think of how it might be modified to accommodate additional documentation, such as observation notes, annotated photos, and work samples. It may take some trial and error before finding the system that works best for you. The DRDP 2015 Portfolio Application is another way to collect and organize documentation electronically. This app is provided for free by the California Department of Education. There are also commercially available options. The app allows teachers to upload pictures, videos, and or voice recordings and assign the documentation to specific measures. This information can be shared with other teachers and is a great way to collaborate with a special education provider. For more information, go to www.desiredresults.us. For more information, please visit the Desired Results website or call toll-free 800-770-6339, mainline 805-465-4400, fax 805-465-4444, or email desiredresults at wested.org.